Hey guys, so it is Friday, October 30th. It is Halloween Eve, and I just got done work. It's about noon, and I'm driving home, and I'm gonna drive to Target real quick to get some final details for my costume tomorrow, for Matthew's costume tomorrow. So I am going to be Elsa, shocker, I know. And Matthew is gonna be Olaf, our dog Remy is gonna be Sven, and my husband's gonna be Kristoff. But don't get too excited to see my husband in a costume. He doesn't really dress up for Halloween, not many men do. Um, so I got him this like t-shirt that literally has Kristoff on it. So like give him the benefit of the doubt. And he's working Halloween, so he's literally just doing it for a picture for me because I'm crazy. So I'm running the Target because uh, tomorrow, tomorrow which is Halloween, I'm going to my hairdresser's, Alicia, so she can give me like an Elsa braid. Cause I knew how to braid, but it wouldn't be like thick and volumized. And I want like the pieces falling. Like I want it to be legit an Elsa braid. Um, Cause you guys know I'm extra by now. So I'm gonna go there tomorrow to get that done. But she was texting me today and she was like, you should get like a crown or a headband, something like glittery, jeweled, whatever. And I was like, that's a great idea. So. I'm going I just I'm gonna go target right now I'm gonna look for like a glittered headband I'm gonna look for I didn't realize I guess I wasn't I thought I was prepared I bought my Elsa dress which is legit like a gown with the cape and everything um, I bought it like two months ago so I was like I'm so prepared I'm gonna be on it and then she was like well you know maybe you should get something to put in your hair and then I'm like looking up all these pictures of Elsa and she has purple eyeshadow which I don't own so then I <laughs> So right now I'm going to go Target and I'm going to get purple eyeshadow, some like rhinestone glitter, whatever headband or crown. I just want to like do it up. I want to be the legit Elsa. And then I want to get like little booties for Matthew's feet in case he's outside and he's cold and maybe gloves if they have them. So that's why I'm running Target and then to get a couple other things for myself. But I am so excited to dress up and I'll take you through my entire day tomorrow with me doing my makeup and going to get my hair done to wearing the costumes and pictures of all of us. So I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you think that I am a great Elsa because that is like a dream of mine. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video and you get to see how I plan for Halloween. October 31st, it is Halloween. It's about 4.30 in the morning and I just woke up and I'm gonna get started doing my makeup, my Elsa makeup. Matthew gets up around seven, so I wanted to have this done. So that was one less thing I had to worry about later. Um, I went to Target, like I told you guys, and I got really cool like pink purple eyeshadow, which I'm gonna use. I got fake lashes. Um, I'm not very good at eye makeup or fake lashes, believe it or not. I used to do smoky eye makeup all the time when I was in high school. And now I just do like face makeup, concealer, eyebrows, and eyelashes. So it'll be different for me doing eyeshadow and color, like nonetheless. So that'll be fun. Um, but I originally was supposed to have my hair appointment at noon to get my Elsa braid by my girl that does my color, my extensions but she had to cancel for pretty understandable reasons. So I had a little bit of a freak out last night. I was like, what am I gonna do? I need someone to do my Elsa braid, like super extra. Um, but luckily I have plan B. Um, I reached out to a girl that uh, used to do my hair for like certain events. Um, she's at Braziri Salon, she's like right around the corner from me. So she's gonna get back to me at like 7.45 a.m. to let me know if she, if she has any openings or if somebody else does. So I just wanna be like makeup glam ready so I can just run out and, and go get my Elsa braid on. So yeah, I mean, listen, things happen. Of course, I want like my girl to do my hair, but things happen and you need to be able to adjust and come up with plan B. So I have my news on, I have my coffee in my hand. Let's start glamming for the day and get in full Elsa mode. I need a second to take a breath to keep me guessing with what you said. You're in my head. We're under pressure. We 
So I just finished my makeup. It's about 6 a.m. Took me about an hour to do my makeup, which I feel like normally it takes me about like 35 minutes to do like my everyday makeup. So it actually wasn't too bad. And I did purple along the lid. And then I did like some pink in my crease and then I stayed light under my brow. But I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of amazing. And it makes me wanna play around with eye makeup more frequently. Um, but yeah, actually wasn't too hard to do. I feel like I'm steps closer to being Elsa. Hopefully my hair girl will text me back um, in a little bit to let me know what time I can come in to see someone today for the Elsa braid. 
But in the meantime, I have about 45 minutes until Matthew wakes up. So I'm gonna go make the bed, clean up a little bit. And yeah, this also makeup is life. I am feeling it. And I can't wait to see the entire look with the Elsa dress and the braid. So that is Elsa Makeup 101. Baby. It's a little dark up here. Is that my Halloween baby? Is that my Halloween baby? Good morning, honey. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, baby. Aw, it's your brother. Are you ready to get up and be my Olaf? You are? Hi, Annie. <laughs> Okay, so two bags of big candy. I like the chocolate ones. I feel like most kids do. My husband did good with getting these from Sam's Club. I normally put all of this candy into here and I'll sit outside with this, but because of COVID and everything like that, I just don't want like a bunch of kids having to stick their hands in this. So I actually got these um, frozen bags like I don't even know, maybe six weeks ago or two months ago. And I think there's eight in a bag, eight in like one of these big bags. So I'm actually gonna put some candy in these individual bags and kind of lay them out. And I'll probably bring this out on the table for decoration, um, but I'll put candy in these individual bags so the kids can just come up, grab a bag and leave and be safe, but still enjoy trick or treating. How cute is this little setup I have here? I got this. Halloween bowl from um, Home Goods like a year or so ago. And it's actually cute to sit out for decorations, but it's perfect for like holding all the candy in for trick or treating. And then a couple of this stuff over here. This is Bath and Body Works. As you guys know, I am obsessed with their three wick candles. I think they have the best candles, hands down. I believe this one is from AC Moore. This one, you guys are gonna die. It's from Walmart and then Home Goods. So that's just a little bit of my fall decor. I usually like keep this on here too. So it kind of looks like that. But yeah, so I'm gonna start putting the candy in the bags now. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. So I wanna get this done now while Matthew is still taking his morning nap. So I probably filled, I don't even know how much, but I have some extra here some extra candy this thing i it, it's like smushed in there that's how much i packed this in so what i did is i just took the bags i put like i don't know seven or eight pieces in there and then i i can't do it with one hand but i wrapped it up and then i put it right back in here i will bring this outside with me i will take them all out of there and i'll lay them on the table but i thought at least i can carry it out in this but yeah so like i said it's 10 o'clock in the morning but I am ready for trick-or-treaters. So, plan B, thank God, worked out. I am on my way to Raziri Salam and I am so grateful because my girl that normally does my hair, Alicia, has a friend that works at Raziri named Stephanie who um, she's done my hair like for I think my baby shower and my maternity photos if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, she's super, super sweet. So I reached out to her on Instagram last night. I was like, help, I need someone who can do my Elsa breed for tomorrow. And she was like, I'll let you know first thing in the morning, blah, blah, blah. So I reached out to her in the morning and she's like, hey, I don't have any availability, but her other colleague, um, Michelle did. So I reached out to Alicia. I'm like, is Michelle good? Now I would literally, I would take anybody because I just need someone to do an Elsa braid. But I, when you work with one hairstylist for so long, like you value their opinions. I was like, is she good? She's like, she's amazing. You're in good hands. I'm like, yes, I am all my way to Razeri's now. I even brought like a candle for her just to give her a gift for thanking her for fitting me in. But I am so excited to get this Elsa braid. I hope you can appreciate the makeup. Um, with this lighting I'm in my car right now but I am so excited and I cannot wait to show you the final look of the makeup and hair all done to be Elsa Cause I'm feeling so cold.